Okay, now for number two, we're going to fill in the blank to make the statement true. So now, not only are we going to have to rearrange the terms, uh, but we have to find a missing term. And a lot of times finding the missing term is a little bit more com complicated, but keep using the skills that you're building to rearrange terms and to think mentally. The better you can think mentally, the better we're going to be. Okay, so I see with 2G that I'm going to be subtracting 1 and 2 sevenths and 3 halves from 7 and 3 fourths. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to subtract 1 and 2 sevenths and 3 halves. Notice how once again I change that sign because in the parentheses I'm going to be subtracting both 1 and 2 sevenths and 3 halves. So I'm putting them together first before I subtract with that sign outside the parentheses. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to find a common denominator for 7 and 2. You have denominators of 7 and 2. My common denominator, if I made a list, would be 14. 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, and 7, 14, 21. So the common denominator will be 14. I'm going to change those fractions into denominators that have 14. Okay. Now, if I took 2 sevenths and made it into a denominator of 14, I know I'm multiplied by a magic number 1, 2 over 2. Which gives me 4 fourteenths. For 3 halves, I multiplied by a magic number 1, 7 over 7, which gave me 21 fourteenths. That's inside the parentheses. I put them now together, and I have 4 fourteenths plus 21 fourteenths is 25 fourteenths, plus the one whole. I now have an improper fraction uh, on, the, on the right term, 1 and 25 fourteenths, and I know that 25 fourteenths is actually 14 fourteenths plus 11 fourteenths. So there's another whole. I'm going to add that whole to the 1 and have 11 fourteenths left over. I now have 7 and 3 fourths minus 11, 2 and 11 fourteenths. Bring it down a little bit. I find a common denominator now with the remaining two terms, 4 and 14. If I made a list, the common denominator would be 28. If I multiplied my 4 by 7, I multiply my numerator 3 times 7 to get 21. Now, if we're still in that mode that we have to do it on the side, continue to do the magic number 1 on the side of your work. Subtract 2. And if I made it the common denominator of 28, what did I do to the numerator? I multiplied 14 by 2, so I have to multiply the 11 by 2 to get 22, 28. Now I cannot take 22, 28 from 21, 28, so I'm going to borrow. And I have 28, 28 is one whole, plus 21, 28 is 49, 28. Minus 2 and 22, 28.
My next step would be to take 6 and 49 28 minus the whole number 2 and then subtract 22 28. That would be 6 and 49 28 minus 2 is 4 and 49 28 minus 22 28 is 4 and 27 28. Final answer. problem. Coming all the way down. Okay, we have 9 and 5 sixths plus 1 and 1 fourth plus an unknown equals 14. I'm going to find a common denominator right away and add my 9 and 5 sixths plus my 1 and 1 fourth. My least common denominator will be 12. And if I multiplied 6 by 2, I would have to multiply 5 by 2 to make 9 and 10 twelfths. If I took my 1 and 1 fourth and used the common denominator of 12, I would have had to have multiplied my numerator by 3 because I multiplied my 4 by 3 to get 12. Plus something equals 14. I put the two terms together and I add my whole numbers. 9 plus 1 is 10. 10 twelfths plus 3 twelfths is 13 twelfths. First add your whole numbers, then add your fractions. Plus unknown equals 14. I'm going to convert that 13 twelfths into 12 twelfths and 1 twelfth, which gives me another whole, one whole, plus 11 twelfths, plus an unknown, equals 14. Now to find that unknown, I could take 14 minus 11 and a twelfth, to find what's missing. To make it simpler, I'm going to do 14 minus 11 minus 12. Do that first, and I get 3, and then minus a 12. Three minus a 12 would be two and 11 twelfths. Final answer. Letter I. We have 7 tenths minus an unknown plus 3 halves equals 6 fifths. So I'm going to rearrange it so that I have 7 tenths plus the 3 halves, and then subtract my unknown at the end to get 6 fifths. My common denominator will be 10, so I don't have to do anything with the 7 tenths. But I would have to multiply top and bottom by a magic number 1, 5 over 5. Multiplied my 2 by 5 to get 10. Multiplied my 3 numerator by 5 to get 15. Minus my unknown equals 6 fifths. Notice how I'm working down. If I have to do any side work to find common denominators or any other side work with facts, I have to do that on my side work. 
Okay, now I put two like terms together, and I get 22 tenths, 7 tenths, plus 15 tenths equals 22 tenths. Minus my unknown. Now in this step, I'm going to get my 6 fifths to have the same denominator as my left side of the equation. So I multiplied my denominator by 2 to get 10. I multiplied my 6 numerator to get 12. Now I have 22 tenths minus something equals 12 tenths total. So to find my answer, I could take 22 tenths, subtract 12 tenths, and I will find my unknown. My unknown is going to be 10 tenths, which is one whole. Final answer, one whole.